first and foremost, you have to take care of yourself because if you don't, you can't take care of anyone else. What about those who want to serve an audience who don't have the capacity to pay? Or for the most part, they don't have the capacity to pay. How do you provide the support that you need for that audience that you might be super passionate about, but uh, you obviously don't want to burn out in, in the process? I mean, if you're spending all of your time servicing clients for, for a dollar a day, you're going to reach a point where you, you burn out and you're not able to help anyone. Yeah, I mean, who you choose to serve is one of the most important questions that's going to determine the success of your business, your life, I think. because. If you want to help everyone who doesn't have money because you have a connection to that, that's amazing. But you have to understand that if they don't have money, they can't pay you. So the way I look at it is, so our, a lot of the, the typical marketing advice or business advice is like start people low and then build them up an ascension ladder to a higher point. Our philosophy is exact opposite, is for people to get transformational results, it doesn't come from a $7 ebook. It comes from a higher level coaching program where you work with them, they get an amazing result, you fill up your cup financially, they get amazing results. You now have more social proof that can feed back into your marketing and attract more clients like that. If you fill up your cup first, let's just use dollars and cents as an example, then you have more dollars and cents to then give back to the 95% of those other people who would not be able to afford your services in the first place. So it's almost like a Robin Hood you know, type of approach where it's, I don't even want to say you take from the rich gift to the poor, but <laughs> you work with people at a higher level who can afford your services, who see, it's not even that they can afford, they see the value in it at least, they pay you. And then as you build up your business, as you build up, like first and foremost, you have to take care of yourself because if you don't, you can't take care of anyone else. But once you're at a point in your business where, you know, you can take a portion and, and give to charity or you set up a foundation or even like, I think so many people get caught up in like all these little like little products, you know, 10 bucks here, $97 here. I was that guy, like I had hundreds of products in my other business. And with Healthpreneur, we have two. We have our coaching program and our mastermind. And we've got, you know, one other little thing that we try and decide just for, for low end stuff. But pretty much everything else is pretty much free because we can give it all away because we don't need to make sure that everything turns into, you know, some funnel or a book sale or whatever. It's like, if it, if it helps people, we can give it away for free mostly because we, we're taking, we're good because of this stuff. So that's that's my approach. Uh, it's worked tremendously well for us. It makes a lot of sense for our clients because a lot of our clients feel like martyrs in the service of others. And that's not a good place to be. And I think we're all here because we want to help a lot of people. But you got to help yourself first. So